You, you gave me the assignment a couple of days ago. Yes, Tom. This is a great yeah. idea. Your name is Tom. It's a great <laughs> idea because he great came to, up with it. Your name is Tom. <laughs> Thomas? Wonderful. Are you a Wonderful. Thomas? I, I am technically a Thomas, but I've never gone by Thomas in my life. I Ever. was Tommy growing up. Tommy growing up. And then... Got to college and decided, Tom, it's time for Tom. Are you a junior or a third or I'm anything? I'm a junior. You're a junior, okay. Mm-hmm. What's the middle name? Do we know? Is that public knowledge? Do you want my social security number over the air, too? <laughs> uh, life lock, you're, you should be good. I'm sure you can Google it. All right. Top five to all-time Toms from Tom Pelissero. So I, I brainstormed this after the show yesterday. Give and some music, Mikey. There are a lot. Like there, there's a lot of oh, great lot. options. Oh, it's yeah. been a popular name for a long time. Don't know where it ranks on. You know, you see those state lists, and it's always like, you know, there's certain names where like zero people are named Chad this year, but like there's eight thousand <laughs> in your state named Jupiter. You know, it's always like, what is everyone really? That's everybody's name right now. Uh, but so I decided that in order to do this the right way, we got to take out everyone named Thomas and Tommy. We can't do any. Any variation. It's got to be strictly Tom's. So They're known as Tom. Uh, exactly. Yeah, Apologies okay. to Thomas Jefferson, yep. Tommy Lee, Thomas Ooh. Tommy Lee Jones, Ooh. Tommy Lee Lewis, Tommy Fraser, Paul Thomas Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, now you're really no. stretching it. No <laughs> Thomases and Tom, 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 Tom No Tommies. Okay. Mikey, I think Tom, we just, Tom, we, Tom, if we're going straight Tom, Tom, Tom's oh, here. Geez, a lot. No Tommy Hearns. Yes. I'm going <laughs> to put your boy Tom Brady at number five. Five. Well, it's easier just to get that one out of the way. Mike, give Clearly, the greatest, greatest of all time yeah, in the NFL. Oh, I got make it so we'll see where Patrick Mahomes is in 10, smart. 15 years here. Uh, Tom Brady clearly, okay, clearly makes the list. Well, on Number the list. five all time Toms. Number four, going Tom Morello. The guitarist from okay. Rage Against the Machine. Oh, There's a, a surprising number of wow. Toms in music. Um, oh, yeah. Might be another one on the list here. But Morello makes it. Uh, number three, Tom Hanks. Okay. No I mean, brainer. that's... No brainer. For 40 years no from brainer. the comedy days in the 80s through right now, the blockbusters and everything else. He also invented COVID. <laughs> All the stuff that he's brought to us. I, I don't want to give him props for that. Hanks, Hanks is up there. I mean, he was like... That was the day. It yeah. was the day. It was number one. It was one. him and, and it was Rudy, Rudy, uh, Gobert. Rudy Gobert. Yeah. And then... I thought it was over. I like and then I, I, you know, was the next day trying to buy toilet paper and fighting people for it at the grocery store. <laughs> that, that was really the, that was the turning point. Uh, number two, I'm going to go Tom Petty. Oh. Uh, Good Tom catalog. Petty. Another, no, another no-brainer. I'm not like the number one Tom Petty fan in the world. Okay. But there's like a lot of hits when you really dive into the full catalog here. Big time. I think that he's one of those... Tom Petty has to be on the short list of artists to like, do you know anyone who like dislikes Tom Petty? There's either there's people who love Tom Petty, there's people who are like, yeah, yeah, like Tom Petty. No one ever goes, I hate Tom Petty. Right. No one's ever like, hey, you want to listen to, hey, who's this, Tom Petty? F that guy. Yeah. Like, no one's ever uh, stop walking down said that. my street. Right. Who do you expect to meet? No, I, I want to hear the rest. Can you <laughs> Don't come around here no more. I enjoyed every second of that. Thank you. Number one, uh, I wasn't told whether or not fictional people could be in here, but I, I am going to go Tom Wamsgams. Wow! I think that right. the, the entirety... Upset. Wow. Turn off, see that one if you coming. haven't watched wow. the finale yet of Succession, We've I'm giving you five, <laughs> four, three, two, I mean, one... Cover your ears, turn on the volume, come back to us at the top of the hour. Wamsgams is a fantastic Minnesota character. Because when you grow up in Minneapolis, like I did in the Minneapolis area, you know a lot of people who are sort of like that. There's the people who are just Minnesota through and through, and they got the accent, and you you know that they just kind of like, they, they live the Minnesota life. And then you've got the other people. And I wouldn't put myself in this category, even though I've definitely have spent a lot of time on my non-regional addiction, who just kind of like spend their <laughs> lives like making sure that like you're kind of you're floating into you're not a Minnesotan. Because what do Minnesotans do? You might move away and you end up back. Tom Wamsgams is the ultimate climber. And from the start of Succession, a show unlike any other where after the first episode, my wife, Sarah, said, I can't watch this show. I can't watch it. I hate every character on the show. I understand, Sarah. She's also very anti-opens of shows. 
Oh. You know how like on on what is it now? Max. Max. Not Max. HBO Max. Yeah. Just Max. Not HBO Go. No. Nope. What was the other one? HBO Now? Now. Nope. Yeah. Max. Not where it's not now. It's not Go. No. It's not even HBO. It's Max. Yep. But then you can scroll over to HBO on the top of it. But on on Max now, when the show begins, you can you know, skip do the title. skip, skip intro. Yeah. And Sarah more than any person I've ever met. I love her. <laughs> She does not want to listen to the intro. Oh, it's 15 okay. seconds. We're on the finale of Succession. She's like, skip it. I'm like, skip, <laughs> skip. It's One the of the finale. iconic theme songs of any show Please. all time. Please. Really? So she watched the whole series with you then. She watched. Yes. So we had to <laughs> after yeah, proclaiming that mention she hated that after <laughs> ruling out yeah. the show. We took like a year. And then everybody was talking about it. So we literally started over from episode wow. one and like gutted it out through several. I can't watch this anymore. I hate them all. The point being Tom Wamsgams, which is just the most fun name to say of Great all time, name. but also was somebody who I don't know that you could truly hate him on the level that you hate all the Roy children. He just was just sort of this cartoonish character all the way back to the bachelor party which we will not describe <laughs> on DJ, this show. You, would, you would love that episode that is i've never oh, seen it Tom. am i spoiling this for tj no 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 you're, no, you're no, never no, gonna no, watch no, huh yeah, yeah, yeah. nah he'll watch at some point tom Wamsgams, to me is just a fantastic character the the combination with cousin Greg, and then for him to be the one that comes out on yeah, top disgusting, brother. in the end, because he's the least objectionable of all the options of all the people Meat was shield. a perfect ending. Yes. The, the hand, the very tenuous union. This is as close as he and Shiv are ever going to be right here. Is that Tom there? Yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. that's yeah. Tom oh, Wamsgams. Wow. Uh, Succession, succession ending was also sad for me on, on multiple levels. Like th that and uh, Ted Lasso both ending same in the week. same week. Oh, brutal. So not only was that two of like the regular shows that I actively look forward to watching, but it also ended a great run for those of us with sloping shoulders on TV. Like there's not many people like I, I've, I've had the affliction, right? Like shoulders have never been my thing. It's just kind of all it's neck to the arms. <laughs> and we had a fantastic run between those two shows with Kendall Roy and Roy Kent, which are two names that are really similar, by the way. And I didn't think about it till I just said it right there. Yeah, you're Kendall right. Roy, Roy Kent, <laughs> both guys with no shoulders whatsoever. And they show that you can have success. I'm sitting in this chair. I yeah, probably right. come in number three on the no shoulder success list. But it was really sad for me. You know, you, you watch, right? It's it's representation. I just want to see some people that aren't chiseled, that don't have like broad, broad chests and everything else. I just want to see some people who look like me on TV. And I had them. And now both characters are gone. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.